Imagine this. You're drenched in sweat at 2 a.m., haven't slept in three nights, and your favorite genes don't fit anymore. Welcome to perimenopause, a wild biological ride where your hormones ghost you like a bad Tinder date. But wait, what if the answer isn't just hormone replacement therapy, but something entirely different? Like, a diabetes drug? That's right, we're talking about GLP-1s, the weight loss injections turned cultural phenomenon. Could they be the secret weapon for women battling menopause symptoms? Or is it all just another pharma-fueled mirage? Stay tuned. This is, GLP-1 for menopause, miracle or mess? What is menopause really like? Before we dive into injections and insulin-mimicking miracles, let's break down menopause, or as some women call it, the great hormonal betrayal. Menopause isn't just about hot flashes. It's a full-body metamorphosis. It typically begins with perimenopause, a stage that can start as early as your 30s or 40s. During this time, estrogen and progesterone levels fluctuate wildly, leading to hot flashes, weight gain, especially around the belly, mood swings that rival a teen drama series, bone loss and decreased muscle mass, changes in libido, sleep disturbances, and for many, an overwhelming sense of what is happening to my body. Eventually, you hit menopause, officially marked by 12 months without a period. Estrogen levels plummet, and with them go metabolism, skin elasticity, and often your patients. So where do GLP-1s come in? GLP-1101 from diabetes to diet culture. GLP-1 stands for glucagon-like peptide 1, a naturally occurring hormone that helps regulate blood sugar and appetite. But synthetic versions like Ozempic, Wegovy, Munjaro, and Zetbound have taken the world by storm. Originally designed for type 2 diabetes, they're now famous for helping people shed pounds, curb food cravings, and even retrain their brains around food. But here's the real twist, GLP-1 receptors are everywhere in the body, not just in the pancreas. They exist in the brain, the gut, and yes, in systems deeply affected by menopause. So naturally, the question arises, can these drugs help with menopausal symptoms? Menopause meets metabolism. One of the biggest complaints during menopause is weight gain. Not just I had too many cookies weight gain, but stubborn, hormonal, cortisol-fueled fat storage. Studies show women can gain 5 to 10 pounds during menopause without any lifestyle changes. This is partly due to declining estrogen, which messes with fat distribution and metabolism. GLP-1 drugs help buy White heavy checkmark slowing gastric emptying White heavy checkmark reducing appetite White heavy checkmark increasing satiety White heavy checkmark enhancing insulin sensitivity Basically, they reverse many of the metabolic shifts triggered by menopause. And they do it without being actual hormones. This makes them incredibly appealing to women who can't or won't take hormone replacement therapy, HRT, whether due to cancer risk, blood clot history, or personal choice. But can they really substitute for HRT? Are GLP-1s a stealth HRT alternative? First, let's be clear, GLP-1s are not hormones. But they do affect hormonal systems, particularly insulin, leptin, and even cortisol. More interestingly, some studies show that GLP-1s may brain influence estrogen receptors in the brain. Drop of blood improve blood flow and vascular health. Flexed biceps help maintain lean muscle mass. Microscope reduce inflammation, a huge deal in menopause. This has led some experts to ask, are GLP-1s pseudo-HRT? Especially for women who fear traditional estrogen patches or pills. For example, Researchers have observed that semaglutide can lower markers of inflammation and C-reactive protein, which spike during menopause and are linked to fatigue and brain fog. So no la GLP-1s aren't technically HRT, but their downstream effects might mimic some of HRT's benefits, especially in the realm of weight, mood, and cardiovascular risk. Bones, muscle and body composition. Menopause isn't just about losing estrogen, it's about losing bone and muscle, too. 
women lose up to 10% of bone mass in the first five years post-menopause. Muscle mass also declines, increasing fall risk and frailty. The question is, do GLP-1s make this better or worse? Early studies are mixed. Balanced scale GLP-1 drugs help with fat loss, but some users lose lean mass, too, especially if they're not doing strength training or eating enough protein. Bone when it comes to bone, some rodent studies show GLP-1 drugs may enhance bone density, especially when paired with exercise. But, long-term human data is limited. Most GLP-1 studies focus on diabetes or obesity, not menopausal women. Still, if these drugs help women lose visceral fat, reduce inflammation, and preserve insulin sensitivity, they could indirectly help preserve bone and muscle. 91,405 Side Effects and Caveats Of course, no miracle comes without side effects. Common GLP-1 complaints include Nausea Constipation or diarrhea Headaches Fatigue Hair thinning in some cases And a rare but serious risk, pancreatitis And if you're already dealing with menopausal sleep disruption or GI issues Adding a GLP-1 might amplify them or improve them It's highly individual Also, remember, GLP-1s are expensive not always covered by insurance, and require injections, which some women just don't want. Future of GLP-1s IN Women's Health Here's what's exciting. Pharma companies are already exploring GLP-1 combinations tailored for women's health. Cagrosema, cagrolintide plus semaglutide, might improve both weight and hormone-related fatigue. Pemvidutide may offer anti-inflammatory effects ideal for perimenopausal women. There's also buzz around GLP-1 paired with estrogen microdoses to reduce menopausal symptoms without full HRT. The future might not be either or, it might be a custom hormonal-slash-metabolic hybrid therapy. So, is GLP-1 a miracle or a menopausal mess? Here's the real answer, it's both. For some women, GLP-1s are a godsend, helping them lose weight, feel energized, and get their groove back. For others, it's just another high-priced hype train with a long side-effect list. What's clear is that menopause deserves better solutions, and GLP ones might just be part of the revolution. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss our latest videos on women's health, wellness, and science-backed solutions. Light bulb. Left speech bubble comment below. Are you on GLP ones during menopause? thinking about trying it? We'd love to hear your experience.